So hey everyone, it's your boy Devage and in today's video we are going to see how you can create local multiplayer co-op style system inside Unreal Engine. Now if you really don't know what the local multiplayer is, basically it means multiple player playing together on a same device. The entire game run on a single computer or console. Think of games like It Takes Two where both players are sitting together and sharing the same screen and controlling two different characters. That's exactly what local multiplayer is and that's what we are going to achieve today. And if you want then you can grab this project from my Patreon for absolute free so make sure to show your support there all right so let's get begin now before going inside our render engine let's see what's the actual difference between our actual multiplayer and our local multiplayer so on the left hand side of our image you can see the actual multiplayer here the game is running on a dedicated server each player is connected to the server from their own device so player one might be playing on their pc at home player two might be on another pc the player three might be on somewhere else completely so everyone is connected through the internet to the same server and the server handles all the communication replication and gameplay between the players this is what the games like fortnite pubg and call of duty do now on the right hand side we have the local multiplayer in this case there is no server instead all players are playing on a same device like a single pc or a console think about game like it takes two which i already told you two or more players sitting on the same room and sharing the same machine so the programmer like us will just simply spawn multiple players locally inside the same game session no internet no networking no server required i hope this is clear to you all so let's jump inside our unreal engine so here first thing first this is my old project where we created this uh, drivable vehicle for you know our this guest project and i will be using this same project for our local multiplayer so what we will do let me just go inside my project setting and here inside our this maps and mode you can see this local multiplayer and if you will just expand it you can see it says use split screen so what does this mean so if you remember or if you have ever tried the games like split friction or it takes two then you might have the idea like there is a partition between them so the one part will be for a uh, player one and the another part will be for the another player our player two and there is also option how you want the screen to be splitted so there's option like horizontal or vertical so let's keep everything as default and let me just remove it so that i can show you and right Right now if i will just come here and i will just play you can see there is no other character or any other character to which i can control so just to get that character we actually need to create one local multiplayer character so for that what we can do simply open your level blueprint and here let me just use my e key for now and from here what i will do i will search for a node called create local player this one so what will happen so now in my game if i will press my e key you can see that now we have two players one which i am controlling and the second guy in the down and you can see there we have a partition why we are getting this partition because here i mentioned like here i enabled use split screen but if i will just remove it and let me show you again and if i'll press e again you can see there we have this player but there is no more split screen but we need a split screen so i will simply enable it and you can adjust the type of split screen you want uh, if you want horizontal then you can have horizontal or if you want vertical then you can have vertical so let's make it vertical for now so if i will just press e you can see now we have this vertical layout for our local multiplayer and let me just make it horizontal because i like the horizontal layout and there is one more problem like right now if i will just show you i will press my e key and oh actually i forgot to connect my gamepad let me just connect it pretty quick give me a second so now i actually connected my gamepad which you can see here but i'm unable to control my another character like right now i'm moving my gamepad but uh, nothing is working only my first character is like i'm only able to control my guy which is on top but i'm unable to control the guy which is on the bottom why because we are not assigning to our second player like what do i mean by we are not assigning to our second player like if you will come to your project setting there you can see see there is an option called skip assigning gamepad to player one because right now we don't have proper system where we will be assigning you know the gamepad and the keyboard so that's why we are enabling this to avoid that assigning stuff and now if i will just come inside my game and i will press e there you can see we again have two players and i can control both of them so the guy on the top is controlled by my mouse and keyboard and the guy on the bottom is actually controlled by my gamepad and one more thing like if i'll press e then you can see we have two character if i'll press e again we have three character and if i'll press e again we have four characters 
So if you want to avoid this or if you want to keep it, then it's good. But if you don't want to have this much character, you just want to have only two characters, then what you can do here, simply create a new variable. Let's name it as is two players. And now what I will do, I will simply get this guy inside of a graph. So simply get it and by right clicking, you can simply convert this as into a branch. So we will just simply sign it and if it will be true, then we don't want to create any local player, but if it will be false, then we want to create it and what we will do or once we will create it, we are going to set it as a true. Now let's just give this thing a try. So I'll press E. We got two player and I'm pressing it again, but we are not having more splits. Why? Let me just explain this blueprint here pretty quick. So we are pressing E and every time we are pressing E, we are checking if our is to player variable is true or not. If it is false, then we are creating a local player and we are setting our is to player variable as true. So that means now the next time when we will press, it will check if it is true, which is true now, then it will just execute this true, which is nothing. So we are no more creating any players. So I think that's enough or let me do one more thing like right now the both character look same. So let's just change them. So for that what we can do like absolutely there is many ways to do this. But the easiest way for this that we can do is to simply open your game mode and let me just close this all and here inside this your function overrides search for get default pawn class for controller and what I will do I will simply remove this uh, parent thing I will simply remove this parent function and from it I will cast to my player controller and let me connect it here and from this uh, as player controller I will simply get local player controller ID and if this ID will be equal to zero let me just search for equal to node then let's get a branch if this is like uh, if it is zero then it will be our default player character which is our this sandbox character so let me assign it here but if it will be false then you want then you want to change it so let's just uh, use any of this retargeted characters so let's just let's just uh, i guess use this guy now let's give it a try yeah and if I'll press E, then there you can see now on behalf of our second character, we have this guy. So yeah, I think that's enough for this video. It was just a video to introduce you to the local multiplayer. And let me know if you want a complete series on it, where I will be covering how the UI works for local multiplayer and how the different structure and how you manipulate your code if you're working on a local multiplayer game. So if you want that all, then let me know in the comment section. And by this, I'm concluding this video. So if you have any queries related to it, you can ask me in the comment section and you can also join our discord server for more updates and if you want then you can show your support on patreon and don't forget to subscribe and like the video love you all bye bye